Hello friends. Today we'll see the third part of ServiceNow Developer Interview series. So without wasting any time, let's get the start. The first question is, what is the difference between synchronous and asynchronous? Sometimes what happens like uh, when your interview gets started? So maybe interview inter interviewer wants to check your basic knowledge, whether you know the difference between asynchronous or synchronous or not. So there you have to reply like that. Synchronous means when, whenever you make a request to fetch values from server in your client script, the code will wait there until it doesn't get a response from a server. Means synchronous means like uh, when uh, like if we run if we run any script or if we if we submit any form or if any server side script is running on the submitting of form, so the client will block it till server till server response. Means after server response only the client uh, client will client will proceed to the next task. And however, asynchronous means if we need to perform any server side action and there is no need to show anything on current form. In other words, we can say that any background server action termed as asynchronous. Asynchronous generally means like if we if we if we want to run anything on the background, means it doesn't stop client to to proceed with other task. That type of job or that type of process we call as asynchronous. Now move to the second question. Second question is what is the difference between next method, underscore next method and has next method. So next method generally we are using with a glider called gr.next like that. So next method returns, returns next element and also move to the next element means it will return the next element and then after, after returning the next element they are moving to the next element and underscore next it also provide the same functionality as the next method and intended to be used in cases where the glide record has a column named next so i'll tell you like uh, if you if you glide the sys template table in service now so in sys template table there is one field name is that is next so if if, if you use gr.next to glide that table it won't work you, you you won't get any result so there you need to use this underscore next method okay and the has next method we are returning like if we if we gliding any table and if we get any if we get any value so uh, that time if we if we get any record not value if we get any record so that time it, it will return true otherwise it will return false so that same thing i have written here like hazard returns the true or false if there is any record, if there is any one record satisfying the query. Now move to the third question. Third question is like, can you give an example where we can use data policy rather than QI policy? Sometimes uh, in, in what happened like interviewer wants to check whether you, you at least you are you aware about what is the difference, basic difference between the UI policy or data policy or you or you having on or do you have any practical knowledge or you having only the theoretical knowledge so like that they will ask they, 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 they will that time they will not ask you direct definition what is the UI policy what is the, they will ask like uh, is there an example where we use that uh, data policy rather than using the UI policy so that time you can tell this example like uh, like suppose that you are configuring a web service that allows users from outside the platform to update problems on the ServiceNow instance. Since these problems are not updated through the instance UI, they are not subjected to UI policies on the problem form. To ensure that the close note fields is completed before a problem is marked close by resolved, you can create a data policy that applies to the server side import. And data that does not comply with this data policy produces an error. So what does that mean? What is that example mean? Like suppose like if we are populating the data from some third party to our problem form, not problem form, that is problem table. And that time we need to enforce the data policy. If you like, uh, if, you, if you want like a close, 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 close note field will be mandatory. 
like they don't accept any null value so that time we because there is no ui interaction is there so that time we can make it make this make this uh, this close field close node field mandatory using data policy not using ui policy i'll tell you one more example let's say let's say you are you are populating a data from the any other third party tool by using the jdbc connection so that time like uh, let's say we are populating the data in sys user table at that time like if you any of the user having don't don't have employee id or employee id or let's say any location if they don't have so that we, we, we don't want to populate those users in our sys user table so that time because that time is ui 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 policy won't work so that time we need to write that time we need to write the data policy now move to the next question the next question is what is difference between async and after business rule explain with example this is the most 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 important questions most of the time interview they will ask this question what is the difference between async and after business rule so you have to so so the answer is after business rule is used to update information or related objects that need to be displayed immediately such as client record queries and async business rule is used to update information on related objects that that no need to display it immediately such as calculating sla and one more thing like uh, after business rule is a synchronous and async business rule is as as synchronous means in after business rule your client will be blocked till the server response but in async business rule your your client will not blocked for the server response means it doesn't wait for the server response it it will it will proceed forward now move to the next question next question is what is fixed script explain in example sometimes uh, at the end of your interview at the last question they will ask like that do you have do you write do you know what is the script and what is fixed script have you written any fixed script explain with the example so you can tell like that a fixed script is a server side javascript code that that you run after an application is installed or upgraded include fixed script to make changes that are necessary for the data integrity or product stability of an application and it can be used if we need to insert update and delete data in bulk so fixed script basically we are writing like when we, when we after the upgradation if anything is broken and we want to fix it like uh, let's say so example we have given like let's say if we want to update 50000 records then best way is to fix fixed script because other process will not affect from this means uh, if we yeah so like uh, there one more thing is there like let's say one business rule is there which uh, which closing the records uh, which closing the not record which closing the incident after the uh, after the five days of resolve so then if if someone if after upgradation your business rule may be broken and you want to send the report next day so that time you can run the fixed script and you can you you can close all the incident records by, um, by running the fixed fixed script so this is the example you can say that now move to the next question so in the last video i have asked then what is the difference between get value method and get unique value method so get unique value accept no argument and simply returns the primary key with sys id of the record in get unique value you will get the sys id but you don't need to pass any parameters while in get value can return the value from any table column including sys id it accept one argument a field name and will return the value there in get value we need it, it it will return the field sys id but in get value we need to pass the field name so this is the main difference between the get value and get unique value this question sometimes interview will ask yeah now the next question oh so the today's question is what is domain separation in service now sometimes you may heard like uh, have you worked in interview ask have you worked on domain separation are you aware about the domain separation so that time that time this thing this thing came it came, came into the picture like what is domain separation so if you know the answer please write in the comment box 
आई विल गिव आंसर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू